Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to talk about the um, what looks like to be the future of the uh, insider rings and also kind of re-educate everybody on which ring is what. Uh, it's really a lot of different little things. We used to have, you know, everything easy. It used to just be that there was an advanced version being tested, a future version being tested, and cumulative updates and stuff like that being tested of one version of Windows, then now it's all mixed up. So there's Windows 10 being tested, Windows 11 being tested. Even Windows 11 has several branches being tested. But the names of the different channels are the same. The release preview, beta, and dev channel. So here's the uh, thing about, first of all, the future testing. What's happening right now is let's focus on the dev channel first. The dev channel is a channel where updates or features that you see here are not tied to any specific version. Microsoft wants us to really understand that. And so when you're on the dev channel, you're testing all sorts of things for the future. You're not tied to any of the different versions, which means if you're on dev channel now, you're not going to be able to stop and stay at 22H2 on Windows 11. You're continuing forward. That time passed. It was there a couple of months ago. We had a moment where beta and dev channel kind of joined each other at the same build of a number. And that became the time you could move. But now you're stuck in dev channel and you're not getting out of it unless you reinstall Windows. There possibly will be a time next year at some point where they're going to actually resynchronize beta and dev channel, but for now it looks like um, you know, you're stuck there for a long time. So it's also the channel where you have the most chances of having problems. So just take note of that. Now beta channel is testing two things. It's testing what is 22.621. As you see, there is a 22.621 right now here. This is officially what Windows 11 22H2 is going to be. So if I look at my Windows version, I'm on 22H2, which is the future version of Windows 11, Windows 11 2.0, like I call it. And that should arrive for general availability to everybody, apparently around September the 20th. This beta channel can also be tricky because you might actually be chosen to, ch to actually test 22622. So one little number more. Why? Because that one tests features, new features. So it's not totally clear if you're on 22622 if you'll be able to get out if the... Uh, switch is available to you for uh, queued for unenrollment. If you have this switch on, probably they'll let you get out, which would be the good thing if you don't want to stay on testing features and just want to be on 22H2. Uh, 22621, they give you the option, and I'm on 22621. To be on the safe side, if you don't want to be on 22622 by accident because it, they just choose whoever they want for that, go down to release preview, which will keep you on 22621. 22622, if you stay there, is going to be the features that you're going to test for moments that are coming later this year and next year. So that's going to be what we'll see in 22622. You will be testing the features of the new moments updates coming up. So that's going to be interesting to see. And finally, release preview. You could be on Windows 11. You're testing what's coming up, which is 22H2. And the build number is 22621. Or you could be on Windows 10, and you'll be testing the different bug fixing updates and the different updates they want you to test before they officially released on Windows 10. So Windows 10, the only ring right now that still tests something for Windows 10 is release preview, mostly the bug fixing updates. So that's about the way it is and the future of the builds that's going to happen. I suspect that once 22.6.2.1 is released, beta channel will have only 22.6.22. 22. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.